Hello, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to be doing a short tour of how to find electronic books on the library website. To get to the library homepage from the school, you click on Menu, click on the plus sign next to Student Support, and scroll down to the library between Counseling and Tutoring. Once there, as you scroll down, you notice that there are a number of search options. One search searches for everything that we own, which is a good place to start if you're looking for articles and books. But if you're just looking for books, say you're doing an assignment and your instructor has required you to include at least one book, and it's an online class so you can't get to the library to get a print book, here's how you would do that. Head into the databases link, and as you'll scroll down, you'll notice that there are different options. All Databases lists all of the databases that we currently subscribe to, and a short description of what's in each database. Then we have a breakdown by discipline, art, business, health, literature, etc. But some of our databases are format specific. In other words, they'll have all sorts of topics in different disciplines, but they'll only be newspapers, or they'll only be scholarly journals, or they'll only be ebooks. So if you're looking for ebooks, you can go directly to the ebooks listing. There are two types of databases listed here. EBSCO and ProQuest are only ebooks, and they cover a multitude of topics. Other databases, such as Opposing Viewpoints, or Cambridge, or Gleditions, these have books and articles in them. So if I was going to look specifically for an ebook, I would go into ProQuest and ebook, EBSCO ebook, <laughs> sorry. So I'm going to start with EBSCO because it's first. If you've not yet logged on, you have to log in in order to use these databases. You use your Canvas logon. So say I'm looking for works on air pollution. I can give it that topic, and it will bring back 29 books on this particular topic. Over here where it says Newswires, these are actually articles. So if you're looking for books, stick over here. Then you can decide how you want to sort them. Relevance is determined by the number of times that your search terms show up in the description or abstract about the particular book. I can also ask for the newest books first. So these books may not be completely about air pollution, but they include information about air pollution. So if I decide that I want to take a look at this, I click on the title, it gives me a description of the book. It gives me Library of Congress subject headings, and when I click on them, these will research the database for anything with that particular topic. Then it will bring up places where my search term shows up in the text. So I can go directly to those pages, or I can take a look at the book itself. And when I look there, I can say, okay, Say I want to take a look at biodiversity. It will break it open, and then I can go into a specific chapter. I can read the entire book online, but I can't print, email, or save the entire book, which you do up here. That's not due to SMC. The publisher uh, limits the number of pages that you can print, email, or save. Notice it has an unrestricted download. It has unlimited copy and paste, but you can only print, email, or save 100 pages. So say I decide that I want to use this as a quote in my paper. I can email the current page, the current page and the next few pages, or this section, which is two pages long. Because my quote is on this current page, I'm going to leave it at current page. I'm going to say, I want the detailed citation and abstract, but I also want it to give me help with my citation. And say that I'm in a science class, 
and I'm going to use the APA citation. If I were in English, I might use the MLA citation. So the citation that you use is based on the class that you're in. So I'm going to pick APA, give it my email address, give it my subject, never send it in plain text format, that will strip away any images, and email the PDF. And what this will do is it will tell you when it has been sent, and the information in the detailed record will be what is in the email, and the PDF of that page that I sent will be attached to my email. So that's one way that you can get an ebook. Then I can go back to my result list and find another if I decide that I want to. I can also head back into the databases and look at ProQuest. There is little to no overlap between these two, so if you don't find what you're looking for here, try here and vice versa. Since I'm already logged in, it will let me go directly into the database. So I'm going to try air pollution again here and see what I get. And now again, I can sort by relevance or publication date. No, it's not newest first here, it's publication date and it defaults to the newest first. In EBSCO, I got 29 results. In ProQuest, I got 47 results. So that gives me 76 books that I can take a look at. So as I go through here, some of these I would say, what does this have to do with air pollution? So I can go over here to the subject area ask it to show me more, and then I can look through these subjects that are assigned to it and say, oh, the one that I found on the other one was about environmental protection, so let's try that. That takes me down to only those books that would include air pollution and are about biodiversity or the climate or environmental conservation. So here's one from 2020. So I click on that little guy, and notice that while the format is different, it still allows you to read online, download a chapter, and here it allows me up to 87 pages. This does actually have a limit on the number of pages that you can copy. I have no idea how to figure that out. <laughs> and then I can read through it. Here's the description of the book. Here's the table of contents. And if I decide here's what I want to take a look at, it's a 22 page long chapter. As I scroll through here, if I see something that looks interesting, say I want to put this quote in my paper, I can again download it, download the chapter, copy just that part, print it out, etc. So I am going to download just the chapter. Notice that this doesn't allow you to email the way that the other one does. So be prepared to download it. Pick the citation style that you prefer. Notice also here that it doesn't allow you to pick specific pages. It's the chapter or nothing. Continue on with that. It opens up a PDF and downloads it for you. When you're through with that, you can go back and search again. So these are the two main collections of ebooks available to you at the Santa Monica College Library. Remember, of course, that there are other books available in other databases that might be specific to a particular discipline like literature or computing and technology or business or specific, specific social topics. So keep your options open and explore. 
if you have any questions on the library homepage. And embedded in most of the databases is Ask a Librarian. This is 24-7 librarian assistance. You can also ask it from the library homepage. So if you get stuck, ask us. Good luck with your research. Be well.